All right, y'all. Let, let's talk because there is no way. There, there, <laughs> there's, like, there's no way that I saw this coming at all. Like, y'all know, I was for sure that same day Jason Pierre Paul visited with the Ravens, like, he would be signing. There's no way that I thought that. It was not that it wasn't possible, but I just ain't think it was happening that Jason Pierre Paul would leave, w would be taken, escorted, driven, chauffeured to BWI and get on a plane and go home without a deal. Like, I, I, I ain't see this coming. I was so for sure that I like Ravens got the need. JPP got the availability. Cause it's like, hey, you it's like you you go to a job interview for the second time, second interview, sec second time. And you know, like if, if you go to an interview for the second time, usually that's a good sign. But that's like you going to a job interview, second time. Right now you ain't got a job. I'm not saying you ain't got money, but you ain't got a job, and you're like, no, I'm straight. And that can mean a couple different things. We're gonna talk about it. But let's read the report from Jacina Anderson. She said, just got off the phone with free agent defensive end Jason Pierre-Paul on his visit with Baltimore today. And this is her quoting him saying, I worked out for them this morning. Everything went good. I left there already. The interest is mutual, so we'll see how the business side goes. But a couple other teams reached out as well. So not only did he go to a job interview for the second time around, but apparently, he also has some other companies interested in his services. Um, now, this could mean a couple of different things. Um, if this is the truth, if this is not just business talk, because he did say, hey, he said, we'll see how the business side goes. What does that really mean? To me, it sounds like a couple of different things. Um, and just piece by piece. All right, and we'll break it down as best we can. Um, I worked out for them this morning. Self-explanatory, he had to work out for them. They seeing how good in shape he's in, or out of shape he's in. I'm sure he's probably in shape. He's a professional. He's been doing this for a long time. No, he battled injuries for the past couple of years and whatnot, or really a lot of throughout his career, but they want to see how he's looking right here, right now. And if they feel like the type of shape that he's in, if he can be a contributor. All right, that's cool. Uh, everything went good. <laughs> okay, That means everything went good. He felt like they felt like he looked good. He felt like he did a good job. They felt like he did a good job. Everything went good. All right, cool. I left there already. So no deal right now. But uh, the interest is mutual. So that part, all right. They like me. I like them. Uh, so we'll see how the business side goes. That part right there. The, I think that's him saying, hey, this is step, step you off up. Step you off up. I want more bread from you for what I'm getting ready to do for your team. Want more money. And then, like, that part, because that part could be iffy. And I know a lot of people could think, oh, does that really mean that? The interest is mutual, so we'll see how the business side goes. But a couple of other teams reached out as well. That part, to me, that confirms that, hey, I want more money from you, Baltimore Ravens. And I'm trying to put a little more pressure on you by saying, hey, I got these other teams that are interested in me. It's not just y'all. Because if you really uh, show somebody, especially a company, a job, you show them how much you, you, you should be valued by them. Um, especially if they're in a position to where they don't have many other people right now. At your position. They don't have many other people right now that can do what you do. And this company is almost almost desperate right now. They're almost desperate right now because they are in a tough situation. Because one of their guys is out. And he'll be out at least the next two weeks. Another one of their guys at your same position is out. We don't know how long he'll be out for. The first guy obviously being Bowser. The second guy being Ajabo. Then you have Justin Houston and Dafe away. Uh, you haven't been getting much production out of Dafe away, but, but it's still early. So, again, nothing overly concerning for me right now. Um, but Justin Houston, who's been probably your best pass rusher, he's an older guy. And, I mean, Jason Pierre-Paul is also an older guy. But 
this could help with the depth a lot. Like, <laughs> a whole lot. And even if they did sign him, they would still be uh, pretty thin. Um, as far as edge, pass rush, outside linebacker, defensive end, whatever, whatever you want to call it. They will still be pretty thin there, even if they do sign him. But the, the Ravens are sort of in desperate mode. And then the timing, too. Like, Wednesday is the first day where the team get back together and start practicing again. Game is on Sunday. So you, you would want to get somebody in, like, as soon as possible. So this, to me, it says, like, all right, Ravens, hey, step the money up. Give me more money. And the Ravens might have been like, uh, yeah, we'll see. But then with, with you saying that, hey, there's some other people that, that, that done hit me up, too. It's, it's some other teams uh, that reached out as well. So with that part, it's like, oh, trying to put pressure on the Ravens. Say, hey, I'm a hot commodity right now, even though it's after week two and he's still a free agent. But this, this is the business of the NFL, man. This is the business. This is part of negotiations. Maybe the Ravens did offer him something. And he's like, ah, uh, that's cool, but uh, I think I think I can get a little more out of y'all. I, I I think I think I can get a little more bread from y'all. Y'all can cough, cough up a little bit more because these other people want me too. Because it's one thing if um if you present to whatever the company it is that you're talking to, like man, don't nobody else want me. Nobody else wants me. So if nobody else wants you, in their eyes, it's like, all right, yeah, this player, they're going to take what they can get. First offer we give to them, oh, yeah, we know they're going to take it because they ain't got nobody else that's interested in them. But if you present to that company, now, it's, it's other people that's looking around at me. It's other people that hit me up. Other people reached out. Then that kid, that's you trying to, trying to force the, other, the company to actually give you a little bit more. To again, like I said earlier, show that you are a hot commodity right now. So, again, it's, it's, it's all business. Like Jason Pierre-Paul said, it's part of the business side of football. Um, I, uh, I wouldn't blame him for trying to get as much money as you possibly can. It's NFL, baby. It's NFL. It, it is not for long. Even though he's been around for a long time. So, shout out to him. And with him being around for a long time, again, he is very familiar uh, with the business. Um, so, hey, we're going to see what happens. But um, it's, just, it's just crazy that this thing, again, because I, I, just, I just knew, I just knew, especially with the Ravens in a situation at the end. I know they ain't got that much money. Right? I think they got like $5 million cap space. Um, but I, I, I really wonder what, what they offered to Jason Pierre-Paul. I, I wonder what the, uh, the contract offer was to him. And then on top of that, I really wonder if there are really other teams that are interested in Jason Pierre-Paul right now. I wonder. And there could be. Some people could have called be like, hey, you, you still playing? You still in shape? And that, it could have been something as simple as that. Or it could be, hey, we want to bring you in for a visit. We want to bring you in for a workout or whatnot. It, that could have been the case, too. Uh, and I'm sure we'll find that out uh, over the next couple days at the longest maybe over the next week or so um but i think it's important if if jason pierre paul if this thing is not going to happen with jason pierre paul then as the ravens always do it's important that they all right move on move on jason pierre paul is is not the first defensive end that's left out there and he's not the last uh, it would be nice, again, him being Florida. He'd be a Florida Raven. He's from, again, from Deerfield Beach and whatnot. So it'd be, okay, cool. But if it ain't going to happen, then th they need to move on. They need to find somebody who they can get. Um, and, and especially if, if they're not going to, especially if this is money. Because, again, it sounds to me like it's over money. That's what it sounds like. Uh, but if they're not going to pay him Whatever the, the money is, if they're not going to meet his contract demands or whatnot, the salary that he's looking for, okay, move on. What's next? Who's going to be next? What's it going to be? Or who's it going to be? Because you, and, and that's the thing, this is, it's been weird how the, the Ravens have moved uh, at the pass rush position this offseason, especially with all the knowledge that they had. Uh, going into the regular season. Um, 
it's been really weird because it's like, all right, with uh, who was it? It, it was Adafi away, um, Justin Houston. They cut Dalen Hayes. They 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 waived him with an injury designation. So they were like, all right, we we done with that. Um, they tried him for a year. What was he a fifth or sixth round pick? I forget. Tried him for a year. Like, okay, no. Waved him with an injury designation. Um, Tyus Bowser on the pup out the first four games. Uh, David Ajabo out indefinitely. We don't know how long he's going to be out for. We don't know how soon or how long it's going to take him to come back. Um, then, of course, obviously the, the unfortunate situation uh, with Jalen Ferguson. Um, and what else? Like, oh, they, they had Stephen Means on a practice squad. Uh, but then they, 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 uh, they signed him to the active roster after uh, week one. Um, but yeah, man, that's so they, they, my, my point is they, they, they've known about their issues at pass rush going into the season. And it's just something that they, they just have not done a good job, uh, addressing. And I know that again, with, with Bowser expected to come back after four weeks, it's like, all right, <clears throat> we, we, we probably about to get one of our guys back real, real soon. All right, and one of our better guys back, we're going to get him back real, real soon. Um, so I'm sure they wouldn't want to go out and spend crazy money uh, on a pass rusher because, again, you you, are, you already got Bowser on the contract for him. Um, and it's not this crazy big contract. This thing is, I think this is the the second year of uh, – I think it's a three-year deal. But um, Bowser's on the way back. So it's, it ain't like, all right, we got Bowser coming back, so we're going to break bread on this this other premier pass rusher. No, I, I get that. But still – they should have better prepared themselves for this. So, it is what it is. Like we always say, man, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, and I don't think the Ravens really stayed ready uh, in this situation. Um, this has been a, a, a position that's been thin for a while. Um, and it's crazy. It's been talked about a lot. We talked about it a lot on here. Um, it's been brought up a lot. Uh, just how thin the Ravens were there. I remember when that uh <laughs> when that initial depth chart came out that was created by all the the reporters and stuff. It was like, all right, Justin Houston, Adafi away. Then behind him, it was like empty. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. where'd everybody go? Who, who's who's left? So and again, everybody, we all just knew like, oh, yeah, Ravens, Ravens definitely they gonna sign somebody, but no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, they did sign that linebacker from the Jets, uh, but he just just been a special teams. Um, but they said that he they said he's a guy that can play inside and outside linebacker. Oh, Vince Beagle too. They had Vince Beagle, and he tore his Achilles, so they lost him for the season too. Um, so again, at one time they were like semi prepared, but yeah, everything just happened. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see if Jason Pierre Paul, if JPP got some interest from other teams like that. Um, we'll see. Hey, will the Ravens come back a third time around? Uh, honestly, if he left, he told me the interest is mutual. I just, ah, I, I don't see it happening. If, if he, if this is the second time around. Cause again, like we talked about in the previous video, if it's the second time around, Ravens, they usually make it happen, especially at, at a at pass rush. Second time around, they usually always get that guy. So if it ain't happened now, uh, I honestly now don't know if it ever will.